I've never seen icebergs as big as this before. Uh, some of them were over a kilometer tall. The reason why I do that is not to try and be bravado, but it's it's carrying a message um, and it's urging world leaders now, political, business, community leaders to be courageous. One short word, painful, okay, painful. You can't get into the water unless you're mentally prepared to get into that type of water because everything, when you look around you, there are icebergs and there's brash ice and everything is telling you, you shouldn't be getting in there. We set the times uh, on each swim for about 10 minutes. So I would swim as hard as I could. And at the end of the 10 minutes, I'm out the water and then very, very quickly, they got to dry me. They've got to put me into a, a sleeping bag, three hot water bottles, hot chocolate, and then it takes about two hours for me to properly recover again. And once I've done that, then it's the afternoon and then I've got the second session. So it was unrelenting. When you have been really, really, really cold, you never forget it. It's deep in your bones and you remember it so vividly. And at the mouth, at the end of this fjord, uh, there were a number of very, very large icebergs, huge icebergs, which were grounded, stuck on the seabed. And they were preventing all these other icebergs from going out to sea. And then I remember opening my curtains at 4 a.m. in the morning, getting ready for the swim, and one of these icebergs dislodged. And I have never in my life seen anything like it. I've been operating in the Arctic since 2003. It, to say it was like a dam breaking, exploding would be, would minimize it. It was like an explosion. Thousands and thousands and thousands of icebergs pouring out. It was like a motorway. This is perhaps the most important conference of our lifetime. Protecting the planet now is the defining issue of our generation. Um, and my message to world leaders there will be, we need to uh, get all hands on deck. I cringe when I hear world leaders making promises for 2050 or 2060, when we know perfectly well they won't be around there to deliver it. We need action now. The sad reality is the glaciers are now moving quicker than our political leaders. Every single purchase which we make is a decision about our future. It's a decision about our children's future and it's a decision about the animal kingdom.